testimony of children. They speak to God. That is God. For it was founded upon a rock. And everyone who heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the lifelong bond between parents and children. The Bible emphasizes the importance of honoring parents, promoting a lifelong bond between parents and children. Exodus 12 states, Honor your father and your mother, so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Encourages a familial relationship. And the heart of the children to their fathers. Lest I come and smite the earth with a curse that extends beyond biological and developmental stages, fostering a commitment reminiscent of the marriage covenant. Three, the family as a business enterprise. Because a man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a real man. Proverbs chapter 22, verse six advises, start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. I didn't know. You didn't know that Cassie's your sister. No, I have two sisters. In the traditional family, economic endeavors were intertwined with family life, resembling a business enterprise. You're my older brother, and I love you. But don't ever take sides with anyone against the family again. Ever. The family's involvement in commerce or agriculture was not just a means of sustenance, but a platform for imparting practical skills, fostering responsibility, and instilling a strong work ethic in the younger generation. When you have children, you always have family. They will always be your priority, your responsibility. Four, multiple generations in daily contact. God has answered my prayer. Won't he do it? The biblical emphasis on intergenerational relationships is reflected in Psalm chapter 145, verse 4, which declares, One generation commends your works to another. They tell of your mighty acts. Your mother's been trying to tell me how to raise my kids, how to cook. Unlike the modern notion of separation at adulthood, the traditional family valued daily contact among multiple generations. This continuous relationship between parents, adult children, and grandchildren was viewed as essential for the exchange of wisdom and the practice of honoring one's elders. Five. The traditional family as part of a broader congregation. The biblical narrative often depicts families as integral parts of broader communities and clans. In Acts chapter 2, verse 46, it is written, Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts. The traditional family wasn't an isolated unit, but an essential element in a larger social context contributing to communal well-being through shared celebrations, economic cooperation, and the establishment of justice. The weakened nuclear family. I wasn't. Now, let's delve deeper into the ramifications of the weakened nuclear family. The post-World War II era witnessed a transformation that birthed detached suburban homes, severing the connection between families and their businesses. Fathers began to secede from their families during productive hours, heading off to work, while children, in turn, were compelled to detach themselves by attending school. Young adults, following this pattern, would go away to college, distancing themselves during crucial formative years. Grandparents were relegated to retirement communities, or nursing homes, severing the invaluable intergenerational link that was once the bedrock of familial strength. This physical and emotional separation, inherent in the nuclear family structure, marked a departure from the active engagement and shared purpose characteristic of the traditional family. Impact of the nuclear family. The consequences of the nuclear family's transformation are profound and multifaceted. Fathers, once integral to daily family life, became distant figures as they seceded to work during productive hours, contributing to the fragmentation of familial ties. Yeah, oh, great, Dad. Children, detached from shared productive purposes with parents and the broader community, sought honor among peers, resulting in a poignant rupture between generations. The removal of grandparents from the family structure further exacerbated this disconnection, as the wealth of wisdom and attention they provided became inaccessible. Mothers assigned the task of maintaining cohesion, 
struggled within the confines of an empty house, devoid of the human relationships, activities, and purposes that once defined the family's essence. This reshaping of familial dynamics has far-reaching implications, impacting not only individual households, but also the broader societal fabric, marking a departure from the traditional family's active engagement and shared purpose. Feminist Perspectives As the nuclear family waned, women grappled with the emptiness of isolated homes. Biblical principles, exemplified in Genesis chapter verse 18, highlight the importance of companionship within marriage. Though feminists mistakenly associated post-World War II households with the traditional family, according to the Bible, women were not created as secondary to men, not some helpmate, which is traditionally believed someone who Their recognition of women's struggles resonates with biblical acknowledgement of challenges. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 10 to 31 showcases the versatile woman, echoing desires to transcend confi confined roles. The feminist movement became a refuge for those seeking alternatives, aligning with biblical principles of recognizing individual strengths. Galatians chapter 3 verse 28 supports equality, mirroring feminists' call for an inclusive vision. This cultural shift echoes Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25, advocating for mutual respect and shared responsibilities, aligning societal reconsideration with biblical principles. I spend my life trying not to be careless. Women and children can be careless, but not men. How's your boy? He's good. The dissolution of the family. The dissolution of the family in liberal societies has become increasingly evident through various societal indicators. Marriage is delayed or forgone, birth rates decline, and fatherless households become commonplace. These symptoms reflect a broader failure to transmit the traditional family institution to successive generations. However, the focus has often been on these visible signs rather than on the root cause the removal of essential components from the physical household. As the family ceased to be the hub of shared business endeavors, religious devotion, educational responsibility, and community building, it lost its resilience and allure, especially to the younger generation. The impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Recent global events, particularly the COVID-19 pandemic, have provided a unique lens through which to reevaluate the potential power of the traditional family. Extended closures of businesses, schools, churches, and synagogues forced individuals to conduct their lives within the confines of their homes. Suddenly, the family became the epicenter of work, education, and religious practices. Young adults returned to live with older and younger family members, highlighting the intrinsic bonds that can be rekindled during challenging times. Families discovered the joy of shared routines, such as preparing and eating meals together, leading to heightened cohesion. Despite the challenges posed by these unprecedented circumstances, many experienced a glimpse of the family's former strength as a political institution. You spend time with your family? Sure I do resembling a little tribe or nation, united by common purposes. Perhaps this tumultuous period has opened the door for a more thoughtful consideration of what has been lost and how restoration can become a reality. Let's contemplate the insights gained from examining the decline of the nuclear family and the potential for restoration. The traditional family, with its biblical roots, offers a model that extends beyond the confines of a nuclear unit providing a framework for a more robust, interconnected, and purposeful family structure. If you found this video informative, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay curious. The loved one goes astray. God can get him home again. For never forget your ancestors. They will honor you if you honor them.